This video is concerned with how elements combine with each other in chemical reactions. It's very important to weigh things so we know the exact masses of the elements involved in the reaction. Here we have 0.16 grams of magnesium ribbon. For the purposes of this reaction we've made a crucible from two beer bottle lids which we've wired together. We can now heat this with a roaring blue Bunsen flame. You can see the magnesium glowing red as it reacts with oxygen in the air. And if we blow gently, you can see a bright white glow which shows the magnesium reacting more vigorously with oxygen. It takes some time for the reaction to go to completion. It's very important to wait to ensure that all of the magnesium has reacted. And we can tell that the reaction is complete when the magnesium stops glowing inside the crucible. We can now turn off the Bunsen burner and remove the crucible to cool down. And once the crucible is cool we can weigh it again. And here you can see that the mass has increased from 0.16 grams to 0.26 grams. And if we open the crucible up we can see that instead of our magnesium ribbon we now have a white ashy powder. This is magnesium oxide. To recap what we've just seen in the video, we've looked at the reaction between magnesium and oxygen. The oxygen came from the air. The word equation for this reaction is magnesium plus oxygen goes to magnesium oxide. We can also write a symbol equation. Mg is the symbol for magnesium, O is the symbol for oxygen, and MgO is the formula of magnesium oxide. The large numbers, the twos that are in front of the Mg and the MgO, are to do with balancing the equation. And this is something you might learn about at a later stage. Notice also that oxygen is O2. This tells us that oxygen forms molecules which contain two oxygen atoms. We mentioned in the video that it's very important to weigh all of your substances during a chemical reaction. The mass of magnesium we started with was 0.16 grams. And we weighed the product at the end, the magnesium oxide, and this had a mass of 0.26 grams. So the mass of oxygen which was involved in the reaction is the difference between these two numbers. So 0.26 minus 0.16 equals 0.10 grams. Note that we used a balance which weighs to two decimal places. If you require more accurate masses, you would need to use a balance which weighs to three or possibly even four decimal places. And this slide shows how the reaction proceeds. On the left hand side you can see four magnesium atoms. And on the right hand side there are two oxygen molecules, each of which is made up of two oxygen atoms. Essentially, one magnesium atom combines with one oxygen atom, as shown on the screen. And this leads to the formation of magnesium oxide, which has a structure similar to that shown on the screen.